In this video, we will talk about understanding of aging and its measurements. It's very important topic, so let's go. As always, I recommend you to download presentation as PDF file and from the link in the description. And then you can get access to sources of information, references, and then you can do your own research because um, just mind that I'm not medical professional. I'm PhD in science, in uh, physics actually. So, and uh, this, uh, I do this research as a professional scientist. I do research like this, so to, I make a uh, review of existing literature and uh, try to develop my own opinion. And this opinion may not uh, coincide, maybe, uh, maybe not even close to the official opinion of medical professionals. So, and also what works for me may will not work for you. It's again, it's my personal opinion. Okay, let's go. Aging in humans is a natural process marked by a gradual loss of physical integrity, uh, physiological integrity leading to impaired uh, function and increased vulnerability to death. Researchers have identified several hallmarks of aging, including genome stability, telomere shortening, and epigenetic changes. However, the root cause of aging remains deba debated. In my view, the pro primary driver of aging is the stiffening of tissues, especially blood vessels, caused by factors uh, like elastin fiber destruction, collagen replacement, uh, by, uh, that's collagen uh, replacement of the elastin fibers, and calcification of the tissues. Uh, the accumulation of waste products, toxin, and misfolded proteins inside and outside cells also contribute. Stiffening blood vessels compromise oxygen delivery, leading to hypoxia and oxidative stress, damaging cells and potentially causing cell death. So this is how it looks like uh, that stiffening of the extracellular matrix. We see that more uh, that uh, collagen fibers appear, while uh, fibroblast, uh, fi fi uh, uh, the elast elastin fibers are destroyed. This is uh, happen. Uh, such process happen in uh, the wound healing. So it is actually common for our body to react to information and to damage of the skin, of the organs and uh, tissues. To protect against oxidative stress and death, uh, sh uh, cells shift from mitochondrial energy production uh, to glycolysis, known as the Warburg effect. This metabolic shift acid acidifies the environment, especially in tumor tissues. This is called acidosis. Acidosis can lead to cellular senescence where cells stop dividing but remain metabolically active. Additionally, acidosis can hinder immune cells activity, promoting an environment favoring uh, cancer cells and survival, cancer cells and the senescent cells survival. Senescent cells produce pro-inflammatory signals at, uh, attracting immune cells and stem cells. Chronic inflammation and tissue fibrosis follows, uh, follow, uh, leading to organ dysfunction and eventually organism death. Therapeutic uh, methods to improve the elasticity of blood vessels may extend the health and lifespan of humans, in my opinion. So it is again, a senescent cell, they became uh, hyperactive, they increase in volume. Uh, they cannot uh, digest uh, fat and, and amino acids, uh, they use only glucose as a source of energy and they are hyperactive in producing these pro-inflammatory molecules, SISP, and this to, uh, to uh, uh, it attract uh, this, uh, macrophages and, and natural killer cells and T cells, so these are the cells of the immune system. And uh, then also uh, it is uh, uh, producing uh, collagen and it is normal process of tissue repair and wound, wound healing. But uh, in time we are developing, the same, with this mechanism we are developing aging. We, we develop that our uh, organism is stiffening. All tissues of our body are stiffening. To estimate biological age and assess aging related invention, interventions, I propose uh, using a blood pressure monitor, arterial stiffness measured by characteristic uh, like systolic and diastolic blood pressure, mean blood pressure and pulse pressure, correlates with biological age. Understanding the role of large arteries in their elasticity is crucial. Elastic fibers, mainly elastin, provide arteries with elasticity, uh, aiding in the heart pumping action. 
as people age, arteries undergo changes such as stiffening and thickening, impacting uh, blood flow dynamics. Measurements like pulse wave velocity, resting heart rate, and pulse pressure help access uh, arterial stiffness and aging, allowing for informed lifestyle uh, choices and potential interventions to slow aging and external uh, external lifespan. Oh, pardon, extend lifespan. So this I rely on this uh, on publications. You will find the link in the in this presentation. So that it it was uh, demonstrated that especially pulse pressure is very uh, can can be used as a marker of age and uh, so how this diastolic and systolic pressure are changing with age and mean arterial pressure. So it's we see that pulse pressure is the most uh, reliable and most easy uh, way to to estimate uh, stiffening of, of of the blood vessels and also our age. So I would just give some short uh, reference to my own uh, measurements, to my own age. I am 66 years old, but uh, this I was using the blood pressure monitor for years. And you see the measurements, what I did, like this is November 2021. I was doing a lot of uh, aerobic exercises. So you see my pressure it is close to 90 to 50 with uh, but uh, with resting heart uh, rate uh, 51 but then uh, i continued this uh, aerobic exercises but added some uh, also resistance exercises to grow muscles and you see what happened that my systolic pressure went up and the uh, diastolic pressure stays the same and uh, that heart, heartbeat rate little bit uh, reduced so it is again showing that uh, not all exercises are helping uh, to uh, improve uh, your uh, health and uh, resistant exercises actually can uh, damage your vascular system, vas your blood, blood system, uh, blood circulatory system and uh, then uh, you age, you, it will be like you getting older. So uh, recently I made some measurements with, to demonstrate that uh, the, your state uh, is uh, uh, changing uh, after the exercises. So you see here it is uh, blood pressure recently uh, I measured in January and uh, this pressure was 100, well, close to 100 to 70 with a uh, heartbeat rate of 53. And uh, you see that uh, it is again, it is a little bit higher than, uh, than uh, uh, 2000, oh pardon, uh, 2001, uh, it, is, uh, no, it is higher than 2000. Why? Why? Because I do now combination of uh, this resistant and high intensity interval training and sport training and also uh, combine it with uh, aerobic exercises. So it's again show that uh, it is not bad because pulse pressure, pulse pressure is only 34 and the uh, heartbeat rate also not so high and uh, so, so we can get to this uh, plot and we see that uh, the 35 uh, 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 the pulse pressure 35 is relates to uh, age from 30 to 40 and maybe 45 so i is as my uh, chronological age is 66 so I can expect that uh, uh, my vas vascular aging uh, this uh, go back, so I get rejuvenating. But of course, it is yet long till my uh, out the skin rejuvenation and other organs of rejuvenation. So the vessels rejuvenate first, and this is why it is very easy and very important to use this blood uh, pressure monitor. This this slide is just. A day uh, uh, shows that when I am not recovered for, from uh, properly from the exercises, my systemic blood pressure go up, diastolic pressure also go up, and uh, and pulse go a little bit up. So because uh, the heart tries to pump more uh, more blood to provide nutrients and oxygen to grow in muscles. So, but you, you see, but yet it's, I would say it is like uh, close to 33, 33 is the, the blood uh, pulse uh, pressure and 33 and here it is like uh, 34, 33, 34, it's almost the same. So you see that rejuvenation is going despite uh, I see uh, that during the recovery, uh, systemic, uh, systolic pressure can go a little bit up. 
So what about the uh, uh, rest and heart uh, betrayed? So um, there were uh, again publications. I have a reference in the in the in the presentation, so that uh, you can uh, separate people to different group. Some athletes uh, have um, uh, in young age they have uh, heart beat rate like 52 to 59. But then it is uh, it, it 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 stays the same. It is for many it stays uh, heart beat rate stays almost the same. This is <clears throat> pardon me, almost what what we have what I see in, in myself. My blood pressure in heart uh, beat rate uh, was from uh, in when I was 18 years old. It was 110 to to 80. So the pulse press, uh, pressure was 30 uh, millimeters of mercury, and heart beat rate was close to 40, uh, 42, 43, and uh, then uh, it is, uh, again, uh, slow heartbeat rate, uh, it is uh, showing that uh, I, w I was uh, really very well trained, uh, that, but uh, yet, uh, again, we, we, I see that some increase of the heartbeat rate, but not much, not much, like 53, 53, and here it is 47, it's, uh, Always the same. It stay always the same. So I can I can take these uh, measurements as uh, evidence of my uh, rejuvenation. Not all the body, but yet only uh, vascular uh, age, vascular uh, uh, vessels, and uh, then it is also good sign because uh, first I expect to get rejuvenation of my uh, blood circulation system, and then to organs, and uh, and the last is uh, appearance in skin and hair rejuvenation but it sh it shows me that I go right way and you can use this um, um, blood pressure monitor to estimate your um, age biological age so maintaining the low arterial stiffness from early age is essential uh, as increased stiffness is linked to atherosclerosis a condition affecting arterial valves pulse pressure marker uh, easily measured by a blood pressure monitor source as indicator of arterial stiffness and vascular health and vascular age also. Research suggests that an inverse relationship between rest and heartbeat rate, arterial stiffness and aging. Okay, so if you are aging, your rest and heartbeat rate is supposed to go up. Yeah, if you are not uh, uh, doing anything like uh, training, uh, aerobic training to keep uh, resting heartbeat rate uh, slow. Arterial stiffness also increasing and so, so you see that uh, systolic blood pressure increasing and uh, aging, yes, aging is uh, just indication or indication of vascular system uh, aging. So low resting heartbeat rate are associated with greater, uh, with greater longevity. This is established fact, so I expect that uh, doing aerobic exercise are good. Aerobic exercise is a reliable method to reduce rest and heartbeat rate and positively impact uh, cardiovascular health. But again, it's uh, I, what I'm doing, again, I would refer that uh, here I was doing um, uh, cycling, cycling uh, 60 kilometers, some days uh, 100 kilometers, uh, five times a week, uh, five days a week. So now I change a little bit. I, I do like uh, aerobic exercises, maybe two hours two hours uh, a day uh, and but I do also high intensity uh, interval training and uh, sport uh, training and so it is to, to uh, grow muscles and it works it works I see that muscles are growing so again uh, aerobic exercise can be recommended uh, and is a reliable method to reduce uh, rest and heartbeat rate and positively impact vascular, uh, cardiovascular health and in, improve longevity in conclusion, understanding the mechanism of aging and employing simple measurements like those from a blood pressure monitor can provide valuable insight into the aging process and maybe to reverse it. Okay, this is a short uh, summary of my longer presentation and this summary was pre uh, prepared, uh, was done with artificial intelligence, so it is a little bit bumpy, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> but. But nevertheless, it, it works good. I always use artificial intelligence in my work. It is, it is helping, so it is easier to access, free, and uh, I believe that we, we are uh, going to have a good future with artificial intelligence, with robotics, and all these uh, new technologies. So I highly recommend it. So 
then uh, uh, in next video I will, I will give a more detailed um, uh, uh, description what is happening, why, and all the introduction of this medical torments uh, 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 to describe um, uh, what is happening in our arterias and why and what. And so it is, uh, you see, also about heartbeat rate, so it's again interesting that the uh, heartbeat rate, if it is reduced, reduced, we, we, we expect uh, that uh, longevity is higher. Humans are a little bit special, but I would say humans are work related to live forever young, or to live at least forever. And uh, but what happened? Why we live only 70 years instead of 1,000 years? It is a good question. I described it in my video that we it is a result of uh, breeding with Neanderthals uh, in one part and another part. It is just the diet. We we started to eat something not good for for us. Yeah, and uh, then we devolve uh, back to apes instead of to be humans. Humans uh, were. Uh, produ uh, we were created from monks and from apes by removing some junk uh, DNA and then uh, uh, but Neanderthals were direct uh, ancestors of, of uh, descendants of uh, the uh, apes so then humans were living up to thousand years but then the blending with uh, Neanderthals with apes uh, our longevity dropped but what what is good news with epigenetic uh, changes, epigenetic means uh, environment and food, we can uh, uh, we can uh, stop this uh, uh, this uh, genes from Neanderthals, and we can extend our longevity to few hundred years or maybe up to thousand years. So let's see. Okay, so it's again I give some many uh, many references. Uh, so you can go and you download and you can go, you can do your own research. I remind you that uh, this, uh, my opinion, and maybe not, uh, it is very much different normally from uh, the dominant opinion, which is promoted by medical professionals and some scientists. So I, I, I keep my own opinion and what I, I use, what my um, recommendations work for me, but I, I just good to see that it works for me. I, I quite uh achievement i would say that uh, a quite sign of my rejuvenation that i started to grow muscles because you know in old age uh, sarcopenia develops and the muscles don't grow why because blood circulation is uh, is uh, compromised so we, if muscles don't muscle cells don't get enough uh, oxygen and nutrients they cannot grow by definition they will that's so this is why it happens the same in alzheimer if your blood, uh, your pardon, uh, brain uh, cells, uh, neurons are not getting enough oxygen and uh, nutrients. They will just die out, and you will get uh, Alzheimer. And but now, uh, my muscles start started to grow quite good. I mean, it's I, I'm quite pleased and, and, and actually surprised to see it, and no problem with my memory. And uh, yeah, everything go well, and even. I sleep eight hours so no, with no problem. Okay, so it's again, it's good to see that my method works for me. I don't know what will, will it work for you or not, but at least I hope this information will be, will be interesting for you and uh, you will do your own research, you will produce your own opinion. This is a real science. Science is, there is no established science. Science is always some different opinion. Some opinion may do dominate, but it doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, mean that uh, they are true no, uh, and close to to be true no it's uh, again opinion are opinion and then you have to to verify this opinion with practice with experiments so press the like in bell buttons if you uh, like this information subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and family again i'm a little bit surprised that i have only uh, 1000 subscribers to my channel i would uh, expect 1 million uh, subscribers or maybe more but it looks like that not all people want to live healthy and long life. It's okay. It is your choice. I don't care. And uh, also problems that uh, actually I didn't work much to uh, promote my channel because I'm not getting any financial support, any any money from this. 
and what I do it is for for myself. My, my goal, primary goal, is my my own rejuvenation and uh, keeping me healthy and active, and uh, as long as possible. I hope for two thousand years. So, and uh, will you participate in this research? Will you support me and uh, cooperate in this? It is up to you. So again, but I appreciate if you if you will do at least this uh, press button uh, likes and bell buttons. Okay, have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.